Hello everyone, my name is Uthris, and welcome back to another episode of Timber and Stone. Uh, last episode, we finished the little home for Jimmy Boombat, and we were messing around with the just basic layout for the dock area. And in between episodes, finished up the two other fishing homes. And I can actually show you guys what that looks like on the inside. Very quaint, double uh, blanketed bed. Uh, Boombats obviously get to sleep on some thatch. These guys, you know, not the most wealthy side of town for sure. Uh, they're just sleeping on these cots almost. Very basic, minimalistic inside, small bookcase, medium table, of course stone bench, and a tool chest to store their fishing rods. So uh, that's about all I can say about those little homes. They're nice and quaint. And then I have also worked on this, and this is just like a little fish market thing. So a lot of fish on display, some public storage, uh, chests that could look like things coming on and off ship, same with crates. So there's going to be a lot more areas like that. One, throughout the town. Two, uh, throughout the dock area because there's going to be a lot of cargo coming and going. I have built the piers. And so we have two main ones. Uh, this one has a small branch on it. And I'm thinking we're going to have, hopefully, I don't know how long it's going to take or if I can even do it because I've never done anything like this before. I'm going to build a small boat over here dock to this side a large boat dock to the opposite side and then a large boat dock sideways here at the end of this pier so um, we get some different shapes going anyways that's about all I can say in between episodes besides again just working on more of the castle wall or city wall not really the castle wall the castle wall has been done for many episodes now and you know, just filling in the trees. The trees are fully grown. Uh, everything's just starting to look really nice for us, which is great. I might try and build some sort of crane on this thing with an arm going out this way. That might be cool looking. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Anyways, this episode we're gonna be working on probably this storage barn of some kind. Uh, I might end up building a warehouse probably facing this way just to finish off framing off to finish off framing off finish off uh, kind of the port district and of course there'll be a road kind of wrapping around to the dry docks the dry docks are gonna be over here using this as kind of like a natural barrier as one thing and so we're actually gonna need to clear cut some of these logs out of the way here so we know for sure how much space we have but let's go ahead and hop in and work on this so we can use timber planks for our floors and then our walls uh, let's use they can pale brick for cornerstones maybe might be cool to do. I don't do many builds in here that have cornerstones. Though normally if I was like say building a Minecraft, all my buildings would almost have cornerstones. Uh, and we'll just do a full timber kind of structure here. Alright. And just go ahead and increase the simulation speed. Um, yeah, the port looks good. I like it how it looks from this side. I can't wait till the wall is built up to where you can see what it looks like while you're just standing up on the wall itself. And it'll be cool once ships are in here as well. So there's there's a lot to look forward to still. And I believe a school was mentioned that our town needs a school of some kind and I'm thinking about putting that out here across from the tavern in the farmland uh, one it's really the only spot open enough for that kind of structure because 
we ended up building an estate home inside the city walls rather than I mean a school could have gone here for sure just I wasn't thinking about uh, doing anything like that until it was suggested this is just great looking everything's great looking and uh, you know I just feel great that you guys were here during the whole building process suggesting names suggesting buildings that you guys wanted to see and I hope everything is turning out how you imagined it let's go ahead and do a slow pan I'm just waiting for construction to be completed so until then y'all are just gonna listen to me ramble on um, though I could really just do a bunch of cuts and skip through but you know that's not quite how I operate I like to share what's going on in my head as we're building and get my thoughts kind of real time uh, as the gameplay happens I think this is an old notification yeah it is oh yeah everything's going great we have a steady food supply we're up to 42 people in our city even though really ta I mean building wise and size wise it's definitely still more of a town it just happens to have a city wall more than anything all right so this first layer is kind of done so only windows will probably be on the front because it is a storage structure and for security reasons it's best to only have a little bit of window access Let's go ahead and go into utility, get our scaffolding kind of road laid out there. I like how the docks turned out, I was able to sink one block deep into the ocean, which is okay. It makes it look a little bit more supported and just overall better. This is a nice view. I've never been down to just water level looking up at everything. It'll be even nicer once the walls are complete for sure. You can just barely make out the flags and then say if you're coming in on a ship I'll just say the ship is this high this is what you would see as you probably pull in yeah no looks good I'm just so happy so happy this thing is like nearing completion we can move on to another game too soon think about doing um, from the depths which will be another kind of creative survival game and essentially what you do is you build boats or airships and you survive some enemies that are coming attack you, you salvage ships, you you know build some complicated weapon systems on them you just keep upgrading it looks cool I'm still not 100% keen on the pixel art though um, that's why it's been kind of a challenge for me to even come up with a will to choose that game as the next one All right, let's go ahead and get a staircase here. After we seal off this side room. Normally I would put a staircase in this section, but because there's no windows on this wall, I can actually put it there. Uh, let's do tiled. Tiled always just seems to do well with me. In fact, I might leave it as a loft, if that's possible. In which case, I have to make the staircase wider a little bit. Because the roof line is going to interfere with where that staircase was originally. So let's get the full timber here. Just like so. Then we can build our roof over everything and lay out kind of our basic loft area. It's not gonna be very big because I want kind of this one story, two story uh, play going on. Oop, that's, that's not what I want. 
drag a miner over from the mines now. The mines, by the way, have expanded um, because we're trying to keep underneath this hill so we don't have to dig down too far. We're actually almost to the city. You're moving quick. I'll just take you. There we go. Come on down, build me some stuff. Let's also get the utility again, get some scaffolding. All of our fishermen doing their thing. I wish they would actually fish off the dock themselves, but it looks like they can't fish unless they are like right on the water. So I would have to build something to essentially accommodate that. It's doable, but I wanted these to be kind of more large piers. Um, and I'm fine with them fishing on the shoreline. It's not that bad, really. There's Jimmy, Jimmy Boombats, doing his thing. All right, so out here, we haven't done too much of the actual ceramic tile, so this will be uh, probably one of the only ones out in this area. We can just do that. For the walls will probably switch to timbered plaster to just bring these up just as a color change. put the roof on the back section first because I figured out that's kind of the best way to do it if you have roofs on different tiers or levels from each other you want to build the lower roof first because they can still have access to this section as long as there's no roof up over here oh, looks like we're getting some combat skeleton infantry where are you at Okay, you're at the edge of the farmland. Not too bad. No, Wilfred. You're, you're not a soldier. You can let them deal with all that. Though, it looks like getting a bit of a skeleton horde moving through the areas by the mines. It's okay. I think, you know, I mean, we have 10 footmen. We, we can deal with this pretty easily. I'm still waiting for a keen vision person to join the town so that I can, you know, make, make a good archer. We don't really have one yet. We did have one, but I don't think they had the keen vision and so they didn't do very well. Nigel, you had to dodge for a little bit. There you go going on over here okay our miner took a hit which is okay it's not that big of a deal let's go ahead and do a sweep make sure we're kind of safe and we're really not Humphrey head over scout that out so I can direct a charge and then you just kite them around for a while Let's lay out our orders. And commence the battle music. And here we go. Let's run in a big circle. Come on. Or be completely ignored. In fact, just pick off this guy who's standing in the back. Not really doing anything. Good block. Oh. Oh. Dodge the one with the mace. Alice, okay. Yeah, mobs are still, you know, fairly threatening to us, even though we have a lot of people. It's when they start filing in one at a time, we start, we have a high 
not a high per se, but a decent chance of starting to lose people at that point. Let's see, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'll sell a hammer. That's not a big deal. In fact, I'm going to make a window here. Just on this upper area. Let some air in to the building so it doesn't get too warm. Sure, I'll sell bucklers too. Bucklers. Don't know why I had trouble saying that word. That's, uh... Yeah, the combat music's still going. That has me worried. Why is it still going? Anything? Anything out here? Are we safe? We look safe. Alright, we're at 16 minutes or so. I'm going to go ahead and do some off-camera work. And then I'll be back. You guys can see where we are. I might even convert a lot of our builders into miners so we can start digging out the shape for a dry dock too. So, see you guys in a moment. All right, everyone, welcome back. As you can see, the small warehouse is complete. Of course, a large one's gonna go on this side, so um, that'll be cool to look forward to. This one's almost the same thing as a storage barn out in the farmland, though it doesn't have a full second floor. If we peel down the roof though, you can see what we have going on on the inside. Obviously just a bunch of storage and uh, I hate it when you plan ahead a bunch of stuff and they end up building over it so they can't access the other stuff that they need to. It's rather annoying. Anyway, so we're basically just going through, I'm adding some res raw resource um, piles in here and this will fill in a good amount of space. Let's see, I need to upgrade this one. Where are you going, guy? You're almost in the way. Come on, let's just keep upgrading the timber piles all the way. You're gonna build a dresser, which is great. Just something kind of miscellaneous in there. Uh, let's see, food. I need a barrel. You know, just always trying to get full clutter and uh, details in these things. It's a whole lot easier to do in here than say, you know, uh, medieval engineers, but that's just because of where we are in the development. Let's see. I need to build some uh, wood piles in the way. That's no good. Let's see, what's the best way to handle this? I guess we just deconstruct it. And then build the roof and then see if we can't fit it in there afterwards probably the best solution oh my goodness you are stupid people go away just get out of that storage area I don't know why they're in there but they're just causing problems there goodness that was frustrating also, between uh, the jump and night in game, I brought the wall pretty much all the way around. So we have a nice, oh, half finished wall now, I guess. You can see what it looks like from the water. Let's bring up the actual full roofs of everything so everything is visible. And yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good, pretty much exactly how we want it. Um, no complaints so far. I'm also starting to dig out our dry dock area. You guys can see how big it's going to be initially. 
There's going to be some cool trimming, uh, support pillars, and then like a slight V shape cut into the bottom of it. Um, maybe a partially constructed ship will go in here as well. And then I'm going to build doors at the bottom here and then cut away this terrain. And so the water will actually be flushed to those doors. And then, of course, um, you know, they would flood it. Shit would be raised and then would just be tugged out. Um, you know, normally, too, what they can do with dry docks is, uh, you know, build something above and then have it slope down. And so when the ship's finished, it would just slide into the water. But this is also re for repair. So ships will have to be able to go into the flooded gates and then you take the water out. So that's how that works. As far as my knowledge is. And my knowledge is very, very minor. And I wouldn't believe a single thing that I just said. So, if you know more than me, uh, go ahead and share in the comments because I'm, yeah, I'm always happy to hear uh, how things are done. That's pretty interesting for me. And I'm sure I mean, everyone kind of learns from that. So if you guys know kind of the full functions of dry docks and such uh, let me know in the comments down below how they actually function maybe send some links my way as well and now we are putting the castle gate onto our uh, back entrance here of course not really fully effective yet but I want our engineer Udesi to show himself uh, any moment now of course, we don't we don't have enough uh, copper at the moment. So obviously, he's not going to be showing himself. That's kind of a shame. Let's see how's the inside of here look. Looks okay. Let's upgrade this. Let's see what it looks like just from walking in. Yeah, it just looks like a nice little re resource storage area. Everything that we wanted. Anyways, so before I ramble on too long and the episode just drags out forever and my audience retention drops down farther than it normally is, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are enjoying the episodes, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more, uh, you know, gaming goodness such as this. And uh, follow me on Twitter. The link's down below in the description as always. I say random things throughout the day if I'm not too busy, and I can also answer tweets or anything like that. Comment down below on what you guys think on what should be built next, how you guys think the thing's going. Also, any game suggestions, as always, be happy to hear and take a look at them. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next episode.